And now Juan Soto will make his Yankee debut as the 25-year-old left-handed hitter strides to the plate. Four home runs in spring training. Big deal brought him over from the Padres. He and Trent Grisham. 3-2. There's a walk. So it's 641 walks. You know, the ability to take a lot of pitches is and swing at strikes is kind of a gift. The 0 2. Breaking ball, strike three. It hung up there, but it must have caught the inside corner. And the Yankees go down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the third. Lined into right field, that is a base hit. One run scores. Soto's first hit is a Yankee. Drives in a run. The Yankees are on the board. It's 4 1 Astros. Now, what a great feeling to, to come through right in a big situation for its opening day. And look at this ball up in the strike zone and you're going to see Juan Soto he's able to handle this pitch because he doesn't have a huge uppercut he stays through it off a tough lefty now the Yankees are on the board 4-4 game we're in the sixth soft ground ball left side Bregman hustling down the line Soto but he gets gunned down as you've seen Soto he doesn't leave the strike zone very often so unless they figure that out he's going to continue to to walk well he's been up five times 25 pitches yeah a single and two walks Dubon at second Alvarez at first there's a base hit to right field Dubon rounds third they're waving him home here's the throw from Soto here's the play he's out they got him they got him a great tag by Trevino, and Soto got rid of it quickly for the second out. Well, obviously, you got to wait because of the replay and if they're going to challenge, but what a great throw. I mean, this is big league baseball here on opening day for Juan Soto. Got him. Wow, that's that's really, really close. You know, Houston has challenged it looks like he gets him right the there. I don't think his hand got all the way extended. It almost stopped before it got home plate. And Trevino, Joe, you can speak to this. I mean, this is a tough play. Trying to reach that ball and get over there. You know that he's going to slide away from you. Yeah, you have to let the, the momentum of the ball take you. And it's a little bit up the line, so he has to reach. And I think he nicks him there. I don't know if there's an angle that's perfect that you can right. see if it actually touches him. So I think it would be hard to be overturned. Well, remember, the call on the field is out. Right. Is there enough to, to overturn this? Did a lace get him? Did he get the blouse of the shirt? You got to charge it quickly, and you're going to see him charge this ball really hard. And you got to get it in the air quick. And he does that as well. And it's really pretty accurate, which gives them the chance to get Dubon. I still look like he got him there. Obviously, I'm not the umpire. But he had 10 outfield assists last year. And, and his max velocity was 94 miles an hour. It's a better arm than people give him credit for. After review, there was no blocking on the play. After review, the call stands, runners out. Houston will lose their challenge. There you go. Yankees out of the way. So they looked at two things, whether he blocked the play, which he didn't, and whether or not they could see if he missed the tag, which they couldn't see. To the call stands. I tell you what, that was a great play. I mean, picture perfect of getting to the ball, getting rid of the ball. I mean, in a 5-4 in a game in the bottom of the ninth.